My name is Megan Hess and I'm the owner of Beadhead Fishing Company. I'm also a registered main guide and commercial fly tire. And I want to show you how to tie my favorite nymph, the pheasant tail nymph. This is probably the most productive nymph that I fish because it can imitate a lot of different things. So it can imitate an immature mayfly, an immature stonefly, depending on the color. Or if you vary the size, then you can um, imitate a lot of different insects just with this one pattern. So if you learn this one, you can do a lot of damage. So what I have is a Euro nymph hook or with a slotted bead and I'm going to tie on my thread. I'm using a dot. You can definitely use much smaller thread than this, but I like to build up a little thread dam behind my bead to keep my bead up and close to the eye. Some people here will take uh, wire make sure that it's lead free wire. They can secure the bead up to the front using that wire. I just use a thread dam. I want to advance my thread to the back of the hook and I want to tie on small copper wire. This copper wire can hang off the back of the hook until I'm ready. And now this is why it's called a pheasant tail. So this is the entire back of the pheasant tail with a few feathers missing but here's the the pheasant tail and I'm going to strip one of the feathers and we're going to be grabbing the pointed ends on this side and what you can do is you can preen them up so that you get them all nice and even when you strip them off the feather here. So I'm going to take maybe, I like mine a little more bulky so I'm going to take maybe eight to ten fibers off the back and when I pull them off they're nice and even. Now I want my tail to be the length of the shank of the hook. Do a couple wraps right on top. I'm going to lift this up now and wrap in front of it. And the reason being is because I want to be able now to wrap my pheasant tail fibers over each other on the base of this hook shank to create a little feathery abdomen. So this is supposed to mimic the abdomen of a mayfly and the small fibers off there, mayfly abdomens have gills on them and so when you wrap these up it gives it a little tiny texture that looks like those small little gills off the back. Once I do a couple rack, wraps to create the abdomen I'm gonna tie off on the top like this. The next thing that I'm gonna wrap is my copper wire over the top and this protects those fine little fibers so that when fish teeth hit it they don't just unravel and break apart. So now I'm also going to wrap my copper wire. Right over the top. This also creates segments which can show segments of the abdomen of a mayfly as well. We can tie off our copper wire. So our copper wire is used for protection, but it also gives a little added segmentation to the back of the fly. I'm gonna leave these up for now. You can cut these off and then create uh, your thorax or your hackle in the front. I'm going to leave these on and I'm gonna create my legs or my um, thorax part of the fly. So thorax region is where the legs of an insect are and so we are going to take, this is squirrel dubbing and I'm going to take just a tiny little bit of it, put it on my thread to dub it and when you're dubbing you're always spinning the same way when you're putting your materials on. I have dark brown dubbing just to give a little bit of contrast from the lighter brown of the pheasant tail. Once I have it dubbed on my line, on my thread, I can wrap it around. I'm gonna go back on the thorax a little bit and come towards the head again, building up that thorax. And now we can pull the rest of these fibers over the top which creates our wing case for our insect. And wrap them forward. And clip off any excess. So when we're trying to match the hatch, what we're doing is we're visualizing the shape of an aquatic insect. So if we look at this fly and we think about a mayfly nymph, we can see the head, the thorax region, the abdomen, and the tail. 
And when we're creating this fly, that's what we want to start to be thinking about. The tail region, the abdomen, the thorax, and the head. Next, you can add a little bit of glue, or you can whip finish or do your knots and tie off right behind the head. There's our little mayfly nymph, or my version of the pheasant tail. For more fishing tips and tricks like this, visit oldtownwatercraft.com.